Ooh, nice. Money, money, money. Must be funny. I'm the rich man as well. Okay, uh. Greetings, Rabbit Traveler. Are you in need of aid? Yes, I must venture to this town. Perhaps you could tell me what services I might find here. Of course. What service in particular do you seek? Um, I'm looking to purchase purchase weapons and equipment. What weapons? We have in Cooler Forge by Connell and the Backsmith. This missile can be found in the northern edge of town. As for general supplies, our local amateur scholar girls has a shop across town near the western bridge. Thank you. What is this? A temple. Done. The huge temple. Welcome, friend. I am Bosa Gus, faithful servant of Ulmata. Be at peace for you and the care of the one who endures. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you to look a lot like Bosa Ferg, the priest outside? Yes, on numerous occasions. It's not really much of a coincidence considering that we are twins. Huh. Really? I just figured all your priests of Ulmata looked alike. Yes, well. Is there some way I may be of assistance to your friend? Greetings! I am in need of a healer. Could you help me? Ah, blessed are those in need. You've come to the right place, friend. The word sister Kaliana can tend to your wounds and provide the few curators we have left in our humble temple. You might find that a prayer upon the altar. What few curatives you have left? Don't tell me you're running out. I'm afraid so. The good people of Kuldaha suffered greatly of late. In sharing the burdens, we have nearly exhausted our supply of potions and antidotes. Though I hear tell that one might find such items elsewhere in town. Really? Where? The gnome, Oswald Fiddlebender, is not the devil in alchemy. He lives in that contra contraption on the right above his temple. It is also a rumor that Oric the mage possesses certain arcane items. He is a bit of a clue still. He lives in a small tower on the far side of town to the west. Thank you for your information. Give me curative items. Uh, healer. If you're from. Well, I should actually read this. Greetings, friend. You're welcome in the house of the Bleeding Rose. May the healing heart of Lunata lift your burdens and set your tortured soul at ease. Sister Kaliana, I presume, I was told you could provide the services of healer. You have been informed correctly. As acting head of this temple, it is my privilege to bestow whatever aid I can upon those in need. No small task, I might add. What with all the troubles that plagued this town of late? Acting head of this temple? Who is normally in charge? Up until a few weeks ago, we heard Musa Egenia presided over this house. Alas, she, like so many others in town, has gone missing and is presumed dead. Being the next highest ranking member of the clergy, I have some the duties of the head of this temple until it is a she or we might possibly properly in returns. You mean to tell me your head priest was abducted? Perhaps. We are not quite sure. She got tired of standing by while the people around us were being snatched up in the night. She decided to hold a midnight vigil on the outskirts of town, hopes that she too might share the suffering of those taken. This what was the last resolve for her. Her fate remains a mystery. Uh you mentioned a Rivet was a Pokalin. Who is he? Rivet was a Pokalin, the visiting senior priest of Ilmata. He passed through Kuldaha several days ago in a pilgrimage to the monastery with the weeping Lilac in Buen Chanda. He travelled quite a ways all the way from Cormier, I believe is what he said. He must be from those distant regions, for the bore a holy symbol of the martyr that was unfamiliar to me. In any case, he promised to return his aid once he reached Bunchada. I hope it's alright. Fascinating, Captain. Now, about it healing. What aid can you offer? Uh, cure light wounds, slow poison, destroy magic. I don't really need this. Oh, this is all expensive stuff. Resurrection! <laughs> That's pretty cheap. Not. Stone to Flesh Scroll. I should actually buy this one. Yes. 
Mummy's Tea? What the hell is Mummy's Tea? Priests of Horus Reen, far of Mulhoran, where the first to create this life saving potion. A false smelling brew, it is made by boiling used mummy wrappings, along with naturally desiccated animal remains. The resulting key then can be consumed to neutralize the effects of disease. Holy hell, when you get a cold, you're <laughs> going to have to drink mummy weapons in this world. Ugh. Okay. Um. I have the feeling this scroll is not really as. Oh well, these 130 gold pieces won't kill me. Yep. Oh well. What do you perhaps need? I now have a. Perhaps if I can have a petty fight, I now have a way to remove this condition. Uh. Yes. Right. We go to the northern part of town. This is not Blacksmith Hall. No, this is just a hut. I kind of want to see the blacksmith sell the yeti pelts to him. And perhaps he has some nice new weapons for me. And again, plus what weapons are kind of expensive. This could be. I see. Uh, anybody here? Ooh. What is this? Mummy's tea. Awesome. <laughs> I just read about it. Now I have it. Oh well, if I ever get deceased. I see. Wood cellar tavern. I don't even need a tavern. I want a blacksmith. Yes. You don't look like a smith. I thought there was mangers in town, but I didn't believe it. You're from East Haven? How did you get through? I'm sick my leaf. Goodbye. I don't really want to talk with random persons. Hello? Can you? Oh, thank you. Okay, I guess I have to go further up to meet the blacksmith. <laughs> well, this is a huge map. Can I go this way? No, here, perhaps. This looks missy like. Kinda. <laughs> Who builds a city at the roots of a tree? Oh, more like slowpoke. Mm, my pleasure. I'm listening. Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? Greetings! My name is Angela Pure Heart. You must be Conlon, local blacksmith. I am Conlon. If you're needing a sharp blade or stout mace, I'm the man to see. Just take advantage while, still, while I'm still here. While you're still here? Are you going somewhere? I, I suppose so. With all the school devilry that's been going on around here, I imagine I'm not, I will not be about much longer. I see, so you're planning to uh, leave in town. Ha! I wish that were possible. This awesome path has long since been snowed in by this damnable weather we've been having lately. Now I hear tell that even the northern route to the ten towns has been blocked by avalanche. Mark my words, none of us will last through this winter. We're all done for. Um, I have no intention of dying here. Why is it you're so ready to lie in your own grave? <laughs> Not much for me to live for, really. My Mary passed a few years ago from the fever, and now... Oh, my son gone missing, snatched out of his bed in the middle of the night, right out of under my nose. I was just a boy. I'm sorry, Conlon. Any idea who or what took him? If I knew that, do you think I would be standing around here pounding at metal? He just vanished, I tell you. Gone without a trace. Even all the Wundle couldn't find a trail, and he's got a nose for such things. I imagine whatever took him will come back for me next. I can't say that it will be unwelcome. Um... I've spoken with a Wundle. He believes the source of the disturbances may lie within the Vale of Shadows. The Vale of Shadows, eh? That doesn't surprise me. That place weeks of evil. Most folks in town avoid it like a plague. Those that wander off in that direction never heard from again. Hmm. May I see what you have for sale? Ooh, plate mail. Very expensive plate mail. 
the lucky scimitar pig's eye. What is with all these really expensive items? Tomb sweeper, 33,655 gold pieces. Am I ever going to get so much gold together? The black bow daisy. Yeah, halberd. Told you there's a halberd in this game. Okay, I hope I come back here often because I really need this stuff. Um, short sword plus one, bastard sword plus one. No, not really something that's really useful. A large shield plus one versus missile weapons. Doesn't really help me. I think I'll take the plate mail. Don't miss it. Yes, one AC more. That's good. So both of them have zero AC now. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yes. They are pretty hard to hit. <laughs> I suppose I got some time to kill. Okay. I suppose I get some time to kill. She's <laughs> right. talking about killing time or kill during his time. I'm not sure. Okay. The goblin, uh, not goblin, the gnome. What the fuck is this? Oh boy. I think we will visit him next time. Visit the gnome. End of part three. <sighs> I kind of wanted a bracket. Give me a bracket. Where are the brackets in the. Ah, there. End of part three. Not four. Okay, safe. Anyways, um, quite interesting. I think the next part will be exciting with the Valley of Shadows waiting for us. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and bye.